everyone, it's me, your girl, Coach Medora, and the brother, <laughs> Dr. E-Man, the electric man. The electric man. Well, glory to God. Could you tell me why they call you the electric man? Yes. Oh, a few reasons. One is because we follow the nine laws of health, and in the nine laws of health, we get to electrify our body. And because we are electrical beings. Most people don't know that. And I have a doctorate in electrical engineering just to prove the fact. That's just to get started. But we'll talk a little more as we move along. All right. Well, it's gl I'm glad to know that you know the nine laws of health. Because guess what? I teach the nine laws of health. And I think you're the one that taught them to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> so now I'm back to learn more. Because the more you know, the more you grow. So I'm trying to learn yoga because I'm going to be 50 and fine, y'all. Y'all think it's a game, honey. I'm coming for the kingdom, honey, because I'm am kingdom. And so in order to attain, attain the kingdom, I have to follow these laws of health. And one of them is rest. And inside rest is the best of God. And, you, you know, sometimes you can't sleep because you're all tired and bundled up. You need to stretch. Unlike the myths of yoga from the past, the church is always saying, the church always had something to say about something that would set us free. One thing that sets us free is rest. The rest of God is the best of God. Relaxation and meditating on him. Now you can hum a tune to any demonic force you want to. That don't got nothing to do with the yoga. Yes. Could you introduce us to yoga electric, please? Yes. Well, when we talk about the electricity, okay, the nine laws of health has one avenue, which is called exercise, E for exercise. So when we exercise, we electrify our body. Matter of fact, they have found out many things that if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, and so forth, guess what? If you exercise, get sunlight, and drink water, and have a good diet, that will bring down that. So this is a part that the creator has made in us so that we can be, guess what? What we should be. <clears throat> now, also, when we talk about the nine laws of health, <clears throat> we're also talking about the... Um, X, um, breathing. So when we breathe in deep, breathe in deep, you get oxygen into your bloodstream and it goes throughout your body and it creates peroxide if you're drinking enough water. Okay. So when you, so, so you'll see us sometimes work, work doing yoga outside. Okay. Exercise also is excellent. For what point? <clears throat> when you get the sun, sunlight, you can get electricity flowing through you. Did you know that? And that comes from what? The sun. The sun is the power, most powerful energy that we have that keeps everything on the planet going. And so when you sunbathe and when you get that electricity flowing through, then the same thing. So there's many forms that you can get electricity. And one is nutrition. If you eat live food, it's electrified, filling you with more electricity. So we're here to help you optimize your electrical body. And let me let people who... Um um know me and um don't know how uh to electrify your body and 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 are saying oh my god the transition i can't taste the take the way the food tastes i'm gonna fail i'm setting, it's setting me up for failure i teach transitional e uh eating i teach you how to take the food from you got to level down to level up. You got to level down, the, you got to take the level of your cholesterol down, the level of the salt, the sugars, the level of the, the, set, the standard of the American diet in order to level up in optimization. And so um, that's one of the things that I teach is how to transition in, in, your, in your eating. And so uh, I am, one thing about... Um, transition in your eating to incorporate movement in your body not just and press and twist and oh that's good oh yeah but that's a, the bible tells us that exercise in that one form is only good for that one thing but when you when you exercise the mind the body and the soul you know what i'm saying um it, you do your physical exercise you read your bible and you stretch you exercise your faith and your trust you know, because that gives you time and, and with God. And so that's what I'm excited about with Yoga Electric. That's what I want to get electrified with the Spirit of God. So with that, could you... Uh, Here's our four on. positions. All we right. Now, folks, um, what these, if you notice in these pictures, these positions are done in the bed. 
You have absolutely no excuse to activate the electricity in your body. Doctor. Amen. Amen. Come on. Okay, so as you can see, the first, um, one of the things that we're going to do to warm you up first thing in the morning, you know, get yourself out of the bed, get yourself together, is called the wide chow pose. As you can see here in the wild chow pose, all you're doing is just leaning forward, okay? And we're going to show you in our video when we do it. Also, we have what they call the cat pose, okay? And so as you can see, you're on all fours and you're bending back what? your back so that you can stretch that spinal cord, okay? In this position, you're stretching the spinal cord also when you pull out your hands, okay? So you should feel the muscles up here. Here, you should feel the muscles right around there, okay? Then we talk about the twist. Twist is very good for many things because it's mainly for your intestines. So notice here, you put the opposite arm over the um, knee, and then you twist. You put the other one in the back to hold you up. And we'll show you that when we do our video. Then we have our seated side bend, okay? Now notice all the time you're in this Indian position for these two, okay? And then you're just bending to one side and you'll hold, and then we will bend to the other side. Now, um, how long do you hold these poses, sir? Okay, what we try to do is we would like to hold some of these poses, especially this pose and this pose for around 15 to 30 seconds. <clears throat> okay. okay, all right. Well, being a person who has done those stretches, it is really, really good, especially for women when um, our Russian grandmother comes to visit every month. It is, it, it, I mean, it really stretches you out. Um, it keeps the blood Flow, the actual blood around the tissues and and not just, uh, I'm not talking about that kind of blood, but it keeps your actual blood flow throughout your midsection uh, flowing and active. So then when your body starts contracting, you don't feel it because you, you're already contracting and stretching. You know what I'm saying? So, Amen. Yeah. Okay, then we have what we also will be doing is the forward pole forward. Okay, you have your legs straight and then all you're doing is bending over and you should be stretching. You'll feel those in your legs, okay? You'll feel those legs, you'll feel your back. Now notice, it's, it, most of these are affecting your back and your inner, um, um, in, in your stomach and those areas. Then we have our final one, which is called the spiral twist. And you're laying down and you're taking one leg and you're pulling it to one side and the same arm on the opposite leg, notice the opposite arm is grabbing that leg and this arm here, where the leg was, you're gonna be looking in opposite direction. So the yeah. twist is you're twisting the head different in the opposite direction as your what? Your bottom, your legs, okay? So that's why it's called the spiral, because it deals with the spine, the twist in two different ways. Well, when you're in this position, oh man, I just love it. It's just really, because you can pull this down and it's just stretching you and it is wonderful. Now, let me say something. Um, now, we were talking, now, we've been going through these poses, and um, that is a natural thing. On the spiritual level, do you know that starting your day out with stretching means that you're stretching your faith? Just imagine concentrating and stretching out and, and thinking on things of the Father, just like you do it when, uh, when, um, when Mary and Joseph came back and looked for him, and he was in the temple, he was about his Father's business. You're going to be doing anything in your bed especially all my, all my listeners who know that we're going through uh, celibacy. Um, if you're doing anything in your bed, it should be stretching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they know who I'm talking to. It should be stretching and, co and concentrating on him. That should be the man in your bed. So the thing that is, which is spiritual, even if you're married, getting up in the morning and stretching, you know, gets, gets things flowing. Um, for a man, could you tell me what are the benefits of stretching in the morning as far as uh, uh, <laughs> as, as you stretch, you want to be able to flex um, your muscles because a lot of people, what they do, especially males, they do a lot of lifting and they they're thinking, okay, hey, I'm like this. But then you're going to become like a, um, what, what do we call it? Bye -bye. You, be, you turn into like a robot, okay? And that's not what you want. You don't want to be a robot. You don't want your arms to be like this, that this is, you know, this is how you're, you're walking around. 
You don't want that. You and so the stretching is going to be able to punch it like this. Yeah. Don't you? You probably be punching like this. Mama's <laughs> gonna knock you out. <laughs> uh huh. So so now with this, it gives you flexibility such that you can bend more and you can react much more. So your muscles are not just tight and that you're just, you know, a robot. And that's very important, especially when you get older. When you get older, that stuff just becomes flab. And matter of fact, scary. that's right. And some of the people are taking, what do they call it? They're taking hormones and all that to build themselves up and they wind up with heart attacks. So please, we are not into that, okay? We are trying to get you the opposite direction such that you can relax. And the rest is one of them. Relax in what? the creator, as you trust in what he has laid out. See, when we cover the nine laws of health, we're talking about something that is from the creator that he had given to his Aborigine people, which everybody on the planet has practiced, except guess who? Us Westerners. We, we, we got our own life and we do, it ain't right. Let's stick with the creator's plan. And, and make sure you don't deal with that sad diet. It's called the standard American diet, S-A-D. Hey, that's why you sick. So that's why we're here. Now, the book of Ezekiel, um, is it Ezekiel 37, where he says, I passed by um, and said, I told these bones to live. You got to understand that he, he was talking about sinews in that and how, the, how they came together. And then how he had to breathe on them for them to come alive again. Get up off your bed. We showed you bed positions. Can we go to the next step, sir, and show them what's next? Step? Get up. He's breathed on you already. Get up, you've had the bed positions. Let's take it to the next step, doctor. All right, so now we're here in a different position. Okay, now these are for um, beginners, even though some might not agree with me on that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna start off in a good position. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, the position that we're gonna be start off is a tabletop. <laughs> it's similar to the cow pose, but it's just a tabletop, you're not bending in. And then we're gonna go from the cow, um, from the tabletop to our downward facing dog. So you're gonna be looking like a V, okay? Then we're gonna take that leg and we just gonna throw that leg up. <laughs> all right, we're gonna throw it up, all right? You're gonna get kicker country, y'all. It ain't, it ain't throwing the leg up. Tell them what you want us to do next. <laughs> Okay, so like I was saying, <laughs> then you're going to take that leg and you're going to throw it forward into a, a, um, a position that puts you here that looks like what we call warrior one. So you see okay, that? Let me say down? something. Can I say something? Because people looking at this, they, they do stuff and don't use, com some people don't use common sense. I at one time didn't use common sense, so I'm qualified to talk to all people who don't use common sense. You see how the one leg is on one side, and when you have to swing it back up, it's, on, it's, the, uh, it's the opposite leg. Use the same leg. Okay, okay, you're going to be swinging the same leg. Forget this opposite leg. That leg that goes up, that's the one you're swinging for. Okay, let's get that straight. I'm still trying to catch that leg swing. Oh, man. Yeah, but don't worry. We're going to show you. We're going to demonstrate it to you. Oh, so I'm going to get it. I got the nine laws. I'm going to be a yoga master like you. Oh, what you talking about? <laughs> All right. Then when you come down from here, then we're going to go down to a plank pose, just like a pos um, starting off in a um, push-up position. Then we're going to go from there to what we call the cobra. Okay? So our cobra position is here. This is our cobra position, and that's how we're going to end it. That's how we're going. That's how we're going to end. Um, the, um that okay. Now, now this is a set of routine. So we yeah. will be doing that routine on the left side and then on the right side, and we'll do four of each. So it'll be a total of eight. And I guarantee you, when you finish this class, you'll be saying, "Thank you, my brother. I think that's enough." But hey, um, hey, we're here to work you out. We're not here to play games. If y'all get past two of them, y'all hit me up. Y'all hit me up. Y'all hit me up. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll tell you that leg swing. But anyway, all jokes aside, we can do all things through Christ who, who, who strengthens us. If we listen, he, what he's saying to the church, he's saying fruits, vegetables, and nuts. He's saying, um, he's saying, uh, pray. He's saying raw. He's saying if you, if you just got to, now he might not be saying this to you, Dr. Manny. But to some meat eaters, he's saying, Check, get, get rid of the beef. He's saying, um, use vinegar to soak that blood up out that meat. He's saying a lot of things. 
but are you listening? But he ultimately, and this is one thing that I agree on, even though I sneak and eat my chicken. I don't sneak, I'm grown. But uh <laughs> but you've got to change your you've got to change your eating habits. And my goal is to be vegan or vegetarian, the one who ever get to eat hot food. I got I don't do the I, I can't do all that raw. I know it's not raw. Whoever <laughs> That's what I'm going for, bro. Whoever gets to eat, whoever gets to eat some hot food. <laughs> and with that being asked, one more, one more bonus question. We're, um, one more bonus um, thing we're going to add into this video that nobody even knew you were going to get. Okay, thank you for being here and being part of our yoga class. We're gonna do a few different exercises today. Okay, remember you can do this at any age. Okay, so what we wanna do is first be able to stretch a little bit. Okay, so let me back up some so you can see. Okay, we're gonna breathe, breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll do four of them. It's two. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's three. This is number four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so this is our standing pose. Okay, the next pose that we like to do is just to stretch on over. Okay, it's going to go up and then over. In this position, it's relaxing everything. It's everything in your legs, your arms, your neck, all of the areas that you would like to get stretched out. Okay, so from this position, we would like to go to a lunge. Okay, and there's two ways that we can go straight into the lunge. Let's go straight into it, put our foot falls. Okay, and now we're in the lunge position. Let me move a little closer. Okay. We're in our lunge position. Okay. This is a wonderful position. This position is stretching all of your inner thigh. Here. You should feel it. And you should be able to feel it here too. So here is two stretch muscles. Now you want this to be straight down, 90 degrees. Okay. You don't want the knee over the toe. You don't want it over the toe, just directly over the ankle. And you can stretch and stretch as far as you want into it. The more you stretch into it, the more you okay, will feel. At it from the side. Okay. This I'm going to turn to like. the side so you you're can see what, what? Looks like these side. muscles. You're stretching what? These muscles over here. Yes, I can feel them very greatly. Okay. So from this position, there's lots of things that we can do. We can lift our right foot up. Okay, now let me go into the middle. Okay, so we're moving from this position and now we're just gonna lift it right on up. So it can go as far as it can. Okay, from this position, you can go down into what we look at as a push-up or as a plank position. Okay. Now from here, you can also go into our other position, which is a downward dog. Let me let you see that from the other side. Okay. Sideways. Okay. So you look at it from this angle. Okay. This is our downward dog. 
Okay, so now what we want to be able to do is that we can come down on all fours, okay, in this position. Now, we had showed you some positions before. Let me turn around so you can see. Okay, we showed you some positions before where we related it to, guess what? Morning poses. Okay, we showed you four different more, four poses, so now we're gonna show you some other ones. Okay? Okay, so the first one we like to do, we showed you four before we're gonna show you two new ones. And we'll just show you two of the other ones. So each time it'll only be four. Okay? This time we're going to be doing the sitting spiral twist. Okay? First, let's get in our sitting position. Okay, I'm gonna start it from the side so you can look at it from the side. Okay. And then what we wanna do is put our right hand back and our left and our right and twist. I'd like to do that for maybe around 30 seconds. Okay, so that's 15 I did in this position. And now I would like to turn it around a little bit so that you can see what it looks like from this position, another 15 seconds. So that'll give us our 30 on that one side. Okay, so now we're going to twist and go to the other side. Okay, we're doing our right arm over our left leg and our left arm in the back. Remember, this is the sitting twist. Okay, so we're gonna let you see it from the side position. So how it looked. Another 15 seconds there. Okay, so now the next thing we would like to do is our sitting Okay, side bend. Okay, we'll start from this position and we have put one foot. Okay, have our hands, we can bring them up and now we have one going over. Okay, so we did that for about 15 seconds. Okay, I'll change the position so you can see it from the side. Okay, now we will show you from the other side. You have to do both sides so that we can be balanced. Okay, if you want to, you can switch your legs, the order that they were in. Okay. Okay, that was 15 seconds. And then our last one. All of this you can do in the morning and in your bed.
Okay. So next thing we would like to do is the new one that we want to introduce you to is the forward fold. Okay. We're going to take our legs, get them straight out. I'm going to try to sit up with our back as straight as we can. And we like to lift our arms and then stretch forward. And hold this for another 30 seconds. Now let's stretch our toes. Right now we haven't flexed, now let's stretch them. Okay. All right. Now, the next one, which is be our fourth one, will be our spiral twist. Okay, this one's gonna be hard for you to see, but what we're gonna do is, with our spiral twist, basically we're laying down, and we're taking, we're gonna start with our right foot, okay? We're gonna bend it in and put it down. And then we're gonna take our left arm and our right arm and put them out as a T. Okay, so they're out as a T. And now what you wanna do is take your right leg, take your left arm and swing it over to twist the bottom part of your body to the left. And then you're gonna face your arm that's out and your head in one direction, the opposite direction. And we'll do this for another 30 seconds. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. I'll twist around so that you can see what the other side looks like. Okay, so there we have our 30 seconds. Okay, as we said, you can do all of this where? First thing in the morning, in your bed. Matter of fact, you don't even have to worry about doing it outside of your bed. Okay, now we would like to do a wine releasing pose because we stretched out all of that. So what we like to do is just stretch out this portion of our And you can rock it side to side. And you should feel the um, massage that's going on in your muscles in your back. You should really feel that and it should feel wonderful. Okay, let me show you that is straight on. I think that one was clear. Now this one is gonna call happy baby. Okay, this is a happy baby position. Similar, taking your legs, you're putting them out. 
and you're rocking back and forth this way. That also affects your, the muscles in the back near your spine. Okay, as we said, all of these should be done around 30 seconds. Okay, that's what we just did. Okay, so now, what other positions? Now, there's a lot of positions we have been showing. You have seen a lot of different things. Okay, we um, also want to go over just a few more, some of them that we covered before, and some new ones that we will nothing it really is nothing new we did a downward facing dog position low upside down v then we went from that position we lifted up our leg and that became a downward dog split pose okay we also moved our leg forward when we came out of the downward facing dog position and we came into warrior one with our arms straight up. And then we went from warrior run, we have a plank position and we have a table top. Then we did a cat pose and a cow pose. Okay, and we did also a child pose. Okay, so let's see if we can run through a quick routine of that. Okay, so we're gonna start here at our tabletop. This is our tabletop position. It looks like a table. Okay. From our tabletop position, we can do a cat. Okay. That's raising it up. And they said, and you can do what? It's called a cow. Okay. You're lifting it up. So we do this eight times. One. Okay, so we did eight of those. Okay, so from this position, we want to go into our baby position, child pose. And from our child pose, we can bring our hands in and then move into our downward dog position. Okay. Okay, let me move up a little forward. Okay, in this downward dog position, up like an upside down V. Now we're going to just lift up our foot. And then we're going to bring it in between our legs, our hands. Okay. And then and from our running position, we can just rise up. From this position, we can go down. To the position that we look like a, what, push up? And we're gonna actually go down. And then we're gonna come up and we can do a cobra. And that feels so good on your back. Okay, then from here, we can go back to our 
tabletop. And then do, again, we want to do a cat. And then if we want to do our cow. And we can sit back as to our chow pose. And let's remember, we went from here to our, okay, so we're gonna go over each one of these moves again. What we are doing is we went down, we went into our tabletop, we went into our cat pose, we went into our cow pose, then we go into our downward facing dog pose. Then when we lift our leg, that is called the downward dog split pose. And we move into our running position and then we rise up and that's called warrior one. Then we go down into our plank position and then we lift up and, and go all the way down and then we come back up and cobra. So let's do that one more time so we can see what we have here. Okay, so notice what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna start here at our tabletop. And then I'm going to show it to you front way. I think I went outside. Okay, so we will do that again. <laughs> <laughs> 